Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Tayen. If you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Today has been quite an adventure for me. And I didn't even think that I was going to even make it to get online to even upload this reading or do a reading at all based off of the events that has shaped and molded and transpired in my life. Yesterday was the anniversary, the 11th, no, the 12th anniversary of my father's passing. And, um, you know, an ending of a very important relationship with someone that was on my journey with me. And so it was like I was grieving two deaths at the same time, but it's okay because then we realize that there are people that are on our journey with us temporarily. And then there are some that are on our journey long-term and that person wasn't long-term. So anyway, people come and go out of your life all the time. And it's so amazing because my daughter she was like mommy do you know how many people that have she's only freaking 11 and it just scares me sometimes the intelligence and the intellect that this child has she was like mommy don't you know how many people that have come and, and, and went from your life they have come and they've gone in and out of your life from the time that you were born up until now mommy you're like way older than me which means that you experience more loss than what I have and just think about it you've lost those that have meant the most to you these people don't even add up to a fraction of what these other people that have meant more to you you know you see what I'm saying so she was like I want you to take that I want you to think about that and I want you to be happy because you got so many people in your life that love you that demand so much of your time that we can't get enough of you. And sometimes we often forget about that, you know? Sometimes when we're in our little low ebb, we sent to, well, we, we sit there and we dwell on the negative. And then uh, Goddess Melinda, shout out to you. She sent me a video clipping today about parasites and how they take from you. And they, you can spot them in a relationship when you're the one that's always being the one that's given and they're not contributing. And it's an um, imbalance of the scale, uneven exchange <laughs> of give and take, right? So with that being said, you know what? Some things that happen to us in life, we should just be very thankful for. And even if it makes us feel down, I mean, I'm not saying don't feel the emo emotions that are passing through you because that's what they're there for. So we can have this human experience and we can feel through these emotions. Just don't allow them to take precedent and take up lodging over you in such a way to where you um, stay there for longer than what God intended you to. All right. So. I want to do a quick energetic read for you because guess what? Divine feminines, God has answered your prayers. Your prayers have already been answered. And I don't want you to think for a moment that any of the things that you have been through in your life has been in vain because they have not. Let me go ahead and call on some help and I'll get into the read. I call on air, fire, water, earth, spirit, and ether. And I also call upon the highest of the highest of the high, which is Yadhe Vahe, who will be able to give me the information that is necessary for this beautiful reading in all directions, time and space, past, present, and future. And so it is. <clears throat> all right, Divine Feminine, you have the Sacred Fool. The Sacred Fool is a very precious card that is near and dear to my heart from my own personal experience sometimes we all feel like we have played that fool we've sacrificed for love but then when it came for love to come back and give its offering there was none well the sacred fool is here to tell you keep sacrificing anyway all right 
Even if you're pouring into your own soul, you are enough. And that is enough to keep the natural vibration of love flowing in you through your veins to where it's oozing out of your veins, spilling into the collective and the consciousness, hitting on the field, God's sign, and coming back to you. Okay? Your blessings are about to come to you, pressed down, measured, and shaken out. There is a, a, a scripture that my husband used to share with me all the time. And I'm going to share with you. To let the weak say that I am strong. I know that you have gotten to that point in your life where you feel like you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Okay? Where... Even the thought of having energy, you lose energy at the thought of it. You see what I'm saying? Just the very thought of you having to get up in the morning to just face another day can throw you off your rocker and make your whole day off kilter. All because we allow fear and we allow doubt to creep in. And the reason why you have fear and doubt is because you're spiritually fatigued. Because you're not depending on source or your angels and your guides and these shamanic healings and attunements and spiritual work things that even other people offer that I don't offer to help you do the spiritual work. This is about leveling up spiritually. Okay, this is what the whole journey is about. And I ain't talking about the twin flame journey. I'm talking about your spiritual journey. That journey that you was on before you knew anything about a twin or a flame. Okay. Your spiritual, your spiritual journey is always about your ascension. Rising above where you are. You have pixie parrot. If you look at this expression on this person's face, they're sad. The pixie parrot is not happy. The pixie parrot is just basically regurgitating and repeating shit that other people around them are saying and doing. This is your divine masculine. They're not being their true and whole selves. This also is you too. You're not being your true and whole self. A lot of you have walked away from the union just because you are under the illusion that you can't have what you want. You don't think that you can have divine masculine because divine masculine is connected to a karmic. And so since they're together in a 3D, you're thinking that that is your 5D reality too. When in all actuality, that is the bogus ass shit ever. Because you don't know your power. You don't know how powerful you are to where you can make that which is matter materialize from the spiritual space of existence onto the material physical plane of existence because that's just how powerful you are that even your words what you speak about you bring about and you don't even know that the whole time that you were speaking negative things about divine masculine and the karmic you were in the process of creation you created the whole relationship and you didn't even know it. These things cannot happen unless they are on the same timeline or unless they're in vibrational resonance or frequency with one another. Divine masculine can never be with a karmic if you were aligned with your divine masculine. What would one or two things would either happen if your divine masculine is with the karmic right now? It's because you're not in vibrational resonance with your divine masculine and your chakra system is not aligned. There is no way possible that if you are in complete harmonic resonance with your divine masculine and that your chakras are completely in alignment, that anyone else as a third party energy can come in there. I know what I'm talking about. I've been in complete vibrational harmonic resonance with my divine masculine on more than one occasion and i've experienced 3d union on more than one occasion so i know what i'm talking about i'm speaking from personal experience you are speaking to a true blue twin flame okay 
not someone that's just doing readings for the collective because they're trying to make money. Honey, I'm about this life, okay? I am right now at this very moment going through a tire moment. I am right now going through what is called the dark night of the fucking soul because I did not listen. And so if I can spare you, then I've done my job. And don't you think for any second for you divine feminists that already are up and have your YouTube channel and that you're doing readings, that all of this is in vain and you're helping people, you're reading for people that are coming back into union and your union keeps on escaping you. We ain't looking for instant gratification. This is the reason why you have the Prince of Victorious. Just because things are not checking out on the physical plane and you're not getting that instant gratification of having 3D union with your twin flame does not mean that shit is not going to happen. It just means not now. And it's okay. It's time for you to be patient. Exercise some restraint when it comes to divine ordering. If you are a true twin flame, that is going to happen. It's inevitable. It cannot not happen. That's a double negative. Sorry for my um, grammar Nazis. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm saying? Nothing can stop it. Not a man on earth or not a demon in hell can stop your twin flame union. I don't give a fuck if, if the karmic bitch casted 10 motherfucking spells on your divine masculine. You do your work as divine feminine and you raise your vibration high enough to where your twin automatically raises his vibration. You align those chakras first to make sure that what the fuck you do for yourself is being done for your twin too. And see how the karmic person we basically defeated because you will be at a point where you and both your divine masculine will become unfuckwithable can't nobody touch neither one of you because you as divine feminine have done the work the work ain't easy It's not easy because if it was easy, everybody will be in union with their twin flame right now. You're not in union because you're not in alignment. You're not in alignment because there's still more work to do. Plain and simple. I read some people say that they haven't been in twin flame unions with their divine masculine over years. I mean, like a whole lifetime, like 20 plus and the reason is most of them are not twin flames, obviously. And the second reason is why? Because they haven't done the work because some of them don't know what work the work is that needs to be done. Well, you're at my channel. How many times do you read through the comments? I read through the comments when I go to read your channels to see what people have said. I know that on a daily basis, and I'm not even exaggerating, so many people haven't even purchased, not even a reading from me. And have been able to come back into union just by listening to my video. And then for everybody that I, I honestly can say for every person that I have done a reading for or working for, I don't know of not one person, and I'm being real honest, that is not in 3D union with their divine masculine besides only two. And she's not in union with her divine masculine, but she's pregnant by him. So we know that shit's bound to happen right? Eventually they got to come together for the baby. Let's just keep it real. Just because it hasn't happened for you yet does not mean that it's not going to happen. I'm going to read something from the book. Spirit put it on my heart to read it. It is going to make this reading a little bit longer, but for those of you that get time to listen, pull up a chair. It's worth every word that I'm about to read to you, okay, with Princess Victoria's. All right. All right. So it can be hard to keep the faith when you've been defeated just one too many times. It is easy to make fear and doubt mean something that they don't. God sign. It is easy to make fear and doubt mean something that they don't. It's usually something like being doomed 
to fail. And that, e and I'm going to add to that, that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy right there within itself. Okay. And so we might as well give up, right? Wrong. However, fear and doubt are just symptoms of fatigue. They are signs that we are feeling battle weary when it comes to life. To overcome weariness and create happiness, you're being asked to temporarily surrender your need to win right now, just for a little while. And instead, you're guided to step back, regroup, replenish, be kind to yourself, love on yourself, dote on yourself, and know this sometimes that you have to be willing to lose the battle in order to win the war. Another God sign. There we go. That means be willing to give yourself what you need and be willing to go through things. In the short term, that might seem like failure without losing confidence, courage, and trust that everything is going to go your way in the long term. This is like a, um, a means to a greater gain, right? This Oracle card encourages you to know that you are strong and determined enough to bounce back from anything. You can overcome anything and everything that happens, any difficult situation in your life. Because you will be given the power to succeed at the right time and in the best way for everybody that is concerned. It's not all about you. It's about everybody. And we often forget that when we're in our mess. It's so messy that we can't even think about the other person. For now, an apparent delay, failure, loss, or change, of course, is really necessary. It's a necessary evil. And it's also your saving grace. In time, you'll have a broader spec, perspe I can't even speak, perspective of why this all happened to you. You'll look back, you'll be grateful for not getting what you thought you wanted at the time that you wanted it and the way that you thought that you wanted it. Because what will come to you would eventually be way more superior in every way, shape, and form of the word. Mark my words. You're going to get a double portion. You're going to get double for your trouble, divine feminine. You have to know this. So right now, you got to give in, give in how you expect this journey to unfold. Even if it seems like you are losing when you rather be winning right now, when you see another divine feminines coming into union with their divine masculine and, oh, they're doing YouTube channels together and they're talking about their journey and how it was hell. But then now it's so much heaven. It's so much bliss. And she's the love of my life. And oh, he's the love of my life. And oh, we're so happy. You don't know what the hell is going on behind closed doors. Because let me tell you, I've had the best man that a woman can ever ask for for a husband. And it was hell behind closed doors. Not only for him, I mean, not only for me, but for him too. I'm not saying that I was the cause of his hell, but the fact that I wasn't producing some things that he needed caused him hell. Everything that glitter is not gold. Watch what you're being sold, okay? I'm telling you. Everything is not for everybody. Everybody in a twin flame union are not going to come into union, and you need to be 100% okay with that. And if you're not okay with that, then damn it, it means that you're coming into union. Why would God give you a desire in your heart that he is not going to fulfill? Unless you're obsessed. And yes, you can become obsessed with the twin flame union. 
I mean, hell, I know I have plenty of times. But at this moment, my son said something to me last night and I'm going to share it with you. Why would you become obsessed with something that you already know that's yours? All you're doing is blocking it from coming. Because you're putting out into the field more resistance because you, I wish he was here. I wish I had three, three, three union. I wish that we were here making love. I wish that I can kiss him. Oh, I wish that he could just text me. Oh, I wish that he just calls me. And it never happens. Why? Because in order to manifest, you have to already act like as if you already have it. That's the secret. Even if it seems like you're losing, when you'd rather be winning, don't give up hope. Trust that the universe is strategic and it knows what it's doing. It knows how to get you what you want. Know that in every step of the way, it is helping you to succeed. It knows that things that don't work out now can help you move towards the things that will work out for you later. If you need a sign to know that things are going to work out for you the very best, for the highest good of everybody involved, even if it seems like they are falling apart along the way to the point of no Return, even if it seems like it's irreconcilable. God sign, this is it. Cast your fears and your doubts aside because they are blocking your union. Trust your intuition. What is your spirit telling you deep down inside? What is that gut feeling telling you? It is telling you you are to be having union with your divine counterpart. Tell me I'm lying. Everybody that is on this channel, that you, if you clicked on this video, you are going to have union with your divine masculine unless you're the karmic because most of you are already with him. Okay? And the karmics know that if they are with them, most of them are only going to be with them temporary. I said most. Because not all third parties are karmics. They can be soulmates. But they can have karmic lessons. Just like twin flames can be karmic twin flames. Like me and my twin flame. We have lessons. That's why me and my baby are not together. We understand that because we're both higher conscious. Okay? Yes, he chooses to go back and forth. Sleeping and awakening. But we all do that. It's not just him. I do it too. I did it when I said, okay, let me go into this other situation. That was my choice and I don't regret it. I needed that. I needed that experience. My soul would have never pulled me off course if I was to stay on course. And I'm really confident in my higher self and my soul that my soul is directing me for my highest good. There are no mistakes, especially when you're in higher consciousness. Everything happens for a reason. Okay? Trust that. Know your truth. Forget what everyone else is saying about you and your divine masculine never getting back together because it's been too long. According to who? My mother is married to the man that took her virginity, which happens to be my two older brother's father. After 22 years, they got together. They married. Three years later. I mean, I'm just saying. Time is nothing but just a leaner thing, okay? God is not factored by time. And, and obviously love ain't either. Look at them. They got their so-called love after 22 years. And everybody was like, it's not going to work. Da, 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 da. Okay, they have their issues. They have their problems. But shit, they still together. That's my point. You are never alone. You have your angels. You have your guides. You have most importantly source energy. And you got your damn self. Come on. 
Who's going to love on you? Who's going to dote on you? Who is going to make you more happier than you? Nobody. It's team me. And at the end of the day, like Beyonce said, it's me, myself, and I. That's all I got in the end. That's what I found out. Okay? You got to become your own best friend. You got to cheer your own self on. You got to be your own mascot. Go, Divine Feminine. Go. Light that candle. Pray. Do that affirmation. Send your Divine Masculine love and light. Hold space for him so he can go ahead and clear out his karma so he can be with you. Whatever it is that you tell yourself. God is not a man that he should tell lies. God told me that I'm going to have this 3D union and by surely by God, I'm going to have this 3D union. Thank you, mother, father, God, for my divine masculine being here with me right now. I didn't know how it was going to happen. I didn't know when he was going to come, but God, I thank you now because he's here now. Even if it's a lie, if that's what you got to tell yourself, you have to impress your subconscious mind, not your conscious mind. Impress it. Tell yourself this, these things when you're in theta, when you're waking up or when you're going to sleep. This is the perfect timing when you impress your subconscious minds of all of those things that you want to happen and all of those things that you want your subconscious mind to believe that is true. Do the work. You can't have what you want in this, in this game without playing the game and playing your cards right. This is the game of life. And there are many teachers that have come along the way to show you how to play it, myself included. Most importantly out of everything, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for lacking trust Forget yourself for doubting the connection, the union. Forgive yourself for thinking that you're not enough. Forgive yourself for thinking that you are a failure. You're not a failure because you could not circumvent circumstances and bend somebody else's will to yours for them to be with you. What the hell? Get that out of your mind. I don't know of anybody else that I see in a winning circle more than divine feminists because guess what? We have a lot of us been through hell. And yet and still, here we are still standing. I won't even get into the shit that my divine masculine took me through. But I tell you what, I thank him for everything that he took me through because through it all, he loved me through it all. The good, the bad. The right, the wrong, the indifferent, the indifferences that we had amongst one another, the culture differences. I, me and my divine masculine had to speak Spanish because he spoke it well. I spoke it well. We spoke it to each other because he didn't understand my English that good, but he held on and now he speaks it fluently. We didn't give up. I was dying of cancer six months after we married. Fourth stage. And I asked God, what happened to stage one through three? I didn't see them signs. Where did they go? How did I jump from zero to four? And yet and still... Here I am standing. These things that are happening to you are not happening to you. They're happening for you. So what? In order for God to get the glory? I think not. That's what the Bible says. But these things are happening for you so you can get the glory. So then you can go brag and you can go tell your friends what God did for you. All I'm saying if you ain't believed in nothing, at least believe 
in something that God has instilled in you. And that was the promise for your union. Don't care about what it looks like. Wipe your eyes, close them, and start seeing through your third eye. Stop looking through your two physical eyes because your eyes and your ears will deceive you. I was mentioning Goddess Melinda and what she sent me earlier. We were talking about parasites and how these thought forms and ideals, how these lower energies can basically shape shift and latch on to your thoughts and start breeding lies and planting seeds inside of you. And you think that those thoughts are your thoughts, but really they're not. Okay, you've been spiritually hijacked. Your thoughts have been spiritually hijacked. And so before you know it, you see some shit in your life that you like, how did this manifest? You and your thinking, thinking. People say, oh, well, you can't be positive all the time. Yeah, you're right. You can't. But I tell you what, my life, when I'm as positive as I can possibly be, majority of the time is a pretty good damn life. Things start falling into place that I never thought was possible. People start walking back into my life that I haven't talked to in years. People come into my life and bring me gifts and do things for me that I never even imagined. Because positivity breeds positivity. You get more of it. And that's the purpose of why you practice it. Because it is something that you practice. Because living in a world where we're faced with things on the news and the gloom and the gloom, the doom and the gloom every day, it's so hard to keep positive. This is the reason why I do not watch the news. But I have come to the conclusion of this read. It was even more beyond what I wanted it to be. I didn't want it to be this long, but obviously Source did. Because it was something that many of you needed to hear. I know you feel like giving up. I know you do. Trust me, you. I have felt like that many of days. I have. I even made a promise that I would never get off of this journey. Can't nothing take me off of this journey. Well, guess what? Don't worry about the destination. Focus on what you need to do in order for you to navigate and move through this journey successfully along the way. Remove yourself from the attachment of attainment of 3D union and focus more on the attainment of your ascension and being exactly where you need to be. If union manifests itself, then you won. If it doesn't, you still won because you are ascending and you are being in your true autonomy, being your complete and whole self, stepping into your divinity and standing there and staying in empress or emperor mode. That's a win if I if I ain't never seen one. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a love donation if you feel inclined to, or you can purchase a gift from my wish list on Amazon and it will appear on the channel. I now wrap you on my love and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. So it is everyone. Namaste.